And now for something completely different. This is the ARC Models German Light Tank PZ38TG. Now this is normally a kit that I'd never buy, but I needed something to go along with my KV-5. So I was looking at my, uh, it's actually not even a model shop, it's a comic book store in Calgary that has some really kick-ass deals on models, prices, and they have some funky selection I've never heard of or seen ARC models before. They're a Russian uh, company. And um, the big reason I picked this kit out was I was looking at, uh, at the P38. The Ravel kit was almost $50. This one was $24.95. Yep, $24.95. And it builds up into a superb little kit. Now, I'm not going to say that there wasn't any issues, but at $24.95, by golly, I can put up with a lot. In fact, it gets better. When I picked this up, I had bought the uh, TACOM KV-5, the Object 279, um, a Jason Voorhees <laughs> action figure for my son, and this one. So, buddy uh, tallies it all up. Doesn't say the price, goes back in it, takes backs this one out. So basically, this was free. He says, This is the first one of these I've sold. Um, I'm going back. There's about five or six other ones uh, for 24 bucks. They're coming home with me. Link to link tracks, the uh, detail on the um, road wheels are superb. Now, I'm not going to say that there wasn't some issues building this kit. I was going to go away, uh, do an inbox review of it, but trouble with inbox reviews is just that. They're in box. You don't know how they're going to turn out. Say, um, I, you know, I feel bad about picking on TACOM. They're, they're trying. They haven't quite got there yet. They're trying. Um, the KV-5 and the Object 279. In the box, they look superb. But as soon as you start building them, yeah, they, that kind of fell apart. So um, with this ARC Models kit, um, basically, um, 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 I gotta stop saying um, sorry guys. Instruction sheets are just three, three pieces of uh, photocopy paper, a little write up on it in English, really well done in English. You've got your email, uh, made in Russia, complete parts breakdown. The hull is in four pieces, so you've got your sides, your bottom, your plate, your back. The turret is in multiple pieces, and you've got link to link just tracks. Drive soft sprockets. You even have a full interior on this kit. A reasonably full interior. I chose not to build it because I knew I wouldn't be needing it. But, uh, you know, they've got a transmission in it. They've got... Um, it's fairly simplified. There's a driver's seat. And, and lots of kind of good stuff if you want to open up some of the hatches. I chose just to have uh, have them done up. You could even... Uh, you could even uh, pose the suspension if you wanted to. I just kind of kept mine simple, put it all together. Now, there are a few little gotchas on this kit. I mean, for $24, what do you expect? Uh, really watch it on this part, guys. They show this piece is an L shape, but G93 is actually just a single piece. It's, it's not bent, so you just uh, basically have to... Um, it's the back of the toolbox. You don't really use it. There's no floor. Um, these are a little bit tricky. You're actually bending the plastic and you can get up a little glue on there, soften it up. You're going to have a little hole at the end of the um, muffler once you cut it off, but there's nothing there that can't be fixed. The muffler comes out as solid. You know, you can drill that out easily enough. Same with the barrel. It's a solid one-piece barrel. It can easily be drilled out just like the little machine gun. They can all be drilled out. The detail, the rivet detail is extremely nice. We had a little bit of a fit issue, uh, the tracks. You do need to watch that the uh, drive sprockets are wider than the tracks, so that needs a little bit of work. The uh, return rollers on top aren't quite deep enough, they're not high enough. The uh, tracks actually ride on the... Um, here I'm saying, come again. Tracks right up right on top of these, uh, the locating pins for the return rollers because the return rollers aren't quite big enough. There's lots of flash. This kit is just covered in flash. So you're going to have some parts clean up. But you know what? At $24.95, I knew what I was getting into. If this uh, model was, say, priced at, say, $45, I'd be railing on it. But at $24.95, you get a pretty good idea that eh, there might be some fit issues. You have to watch out the uh, 
turret can be a bit of a bear to get fig get positioned and uh, the commander's couple of, can be problematic with positioning and getting the parts fit on that but you know what like I say for 25 bucks I really don't care if I have to do a little bit extra work on it it comes out nice it's nicely detailed it looks really sharp it's a nice little kit and at the right price guys I highly recommend this one you are gonna put a little bit more time than you would into say I don't know a Tamiya or maybe one of the new dragons but I think the results are, are well worth it nice tracks now there is no way to uh, tighten the track links on these so on this one I had to add a little bit extra sag a little more than I wanted to you can see there's a little more sag on this side than there is on this side and that's just the way the um, the tracks went together they don't uh, there's no friction fit there's lots of cleanup but there's lots and lots and lots of flash on the tracks these link to link tracks probably took me as long to put together as the entire uh, chassis did so as long as you know what you're getting into, I would definitely say not one for a new builder. Somebody that's uh, got a few miles under their belt. Definitely uh, a little bit more complex of a build. Even though it's so tiny, like each and every part of the turret has to be put together. The top, the sides, the back, the front. And yeah, you can have a little bit of fit issues. But uh, just take your time and uh, it does build up into a nice nice little kit highly recommended for the price highly recommended like i say if it was more mu if it was more than 24 bucks eh, not so recommended I, I i there's a couple of fact ups i've got as you can see that one um side uh this side is drooping a bit and that was a little bit of me and a little bit of the really really big cutouts and I wasn't paying attention. I put it together, went away, and oh, oh, crap. That's a little crooked. But nothing in life is perfect. And they're just models. So anyway, guys, if you run into one of these ARC models at a good price, feel don't don't worry about it. Um, as long as you got the skill set for the tracks and some of the fit issues, it's going to build up into a superb little kit. All right, guys, take care. Oh, one more thing. Got to show you this. It's a winter wonderland. September 9th, we got eight, almost 10 centimeters of snow last night, and we've got another five to 10 centimeters of snow forecasted for the rest of the day, but they're talking plus 12 by the weekend. Hoorah. Later, guys.